Hello, so today I'm doing something very different. This is just gonna be a vlog, a day in my life, but it's gonna be a really exciting one, not an average day in my life, but I'm meeting up with my friend Alexis, who also does YouTube and Instagram, and she's great. She does a bunch of hauls and fashion content, so I'll link her links below. But yeah, we're going to Georgetown, which is a suburb north of Austin, and I've never been before, but I've heard they have a really cute downtown, lots of antique stores and stuff like that, so the majority of this vlog is gonna be shopping. Hopefully we can find some cute books as well. I feel like I make so much book content, which is absolutely what I love and is what I'm gonna make 99% of the time but I also feel like you guys don't get to fully know me through my book content so I was thinking of incorporating some vlogs so let me know if this is something you guys want to see or if you're like what are you doing I only care about book content that is okay I will not be offended but my goal is whenever I make a vlog or something like that to post twice a week so you still will get your weekly book content fix and I also got a vlogging camera I wish I could show it to you but you cannot film your camera with your camera. Okay, I'm gonna go to Georgetown, meet up with Alexis, and I'll see you guys there. Hello! Hello. <laughs> we just got to Georgetown, so we're gonna do some exploring, some antique shopping, go to a coffee Thrifting. shop. Yes, all, all the fun things. things. And this is Alexis. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, we're gonna go shopping. This antique shop was so cute and they had so many old books. I didn't realize that it seems like most all antique stores have got some cool old books. So I may be visiting a lot more antique stores. And then here are some items I really wanted to buy. This old phone is so cool. And this picture, the floral, okay, pink sink, sold. And this light up globe, like I want that for my desk. I think I want to start collecting old books, but I'm not quite sure what I'm looking for yet or how I want to display them in my apartment. So I didn't get any this time, but that is something that I will be thinking about doing and maybe purchasing some soon. And then I thought this spider book was so cool and the spines of some of these books in general were very cool. You certainly need a lot of paraphernalia in your tray. <laughs> yeah, symbols, gym, bongo, tambourine. Um, what are these things? Uh, oh, they are then we went to another antique store and they had a huge, huge Nancy Drew collection. Like the nostalgia. I'm pretty sure that I saw this movie literally in theaters when it came out. Ugh, I want the whole collection. Old children's books are the coolest, like the covers, the art, the colors, so freaking cool. I feel like the adult books are never as cool as the vintage kids books. I don't know, maybe I just wanna collect vintage kids books? We'll see. And then here are the items that I loved. This little set, I loved the floral handles. I feel like I've never seen anything like that. And these perfumes, they're so tiny. And then this lamp, my boyfriend thinks these kinds of lamps are ugly, but I think they're so cool. Hello, we are about to go to Goodwill, which I know is not a Georgetown classic like the antique shops we just went to, but I've been wanting to go to Goodwills in different areas. I really wanna know if a Goodwill is in a nice neighborhood, will it have nicer items? I don't know, but Georgetown has some fancy nice neighborhoods, so we will find out. But before we go to Goodwill, we're gonna stop by Alexis's house because I've never seen her house, so I wanna see it, and I'm also in desperate need of charging my phone she is low battery and I also wanted to tell you guys about my charger because that is the sponsor of today's video anchor they sent me their anchor 521 and 511 nano pro chargers and first of all look at the colors like these are the prettiest shades and these cords are like so soft I didn't know that aesthetic chargers and soft cables were things that I needed in my life but now that is mandatory for every cable I own they're Anchor 521 charger is really similar in size to the original 20 watt iPhone charger, but this baby has 40 watt max output. And that means if you have an iPhone 11, 12, 13 Pro Max, you can charge your phone from zero to 20% in 12 minutes. Like if you are about to head out the house, you realize, oh no, your phone is dead. You can get that sucker to get some battery life to get you where you're going in, I'll say it again, 12 minutes like that is crazy that's so fast and it allows you to connect two cables so you can charge your iphone and another device of your choice at the same time while only needing a single outlet 
And this is the upgraded version of their Anchor 511 Charger Nano Pro. The 511 has one port and is 20 watts. Another cool thing about their upgraded 521 charger is that it has enough power to charge your MacBook Air at full speed when charging with a single port. I'm going to have all the links in the description so you can get your own charger and we can match. All right, I'm going to head to Alexis's house real fast and then I'll see you guys at Goodwill. The Goodwill's book sections that I've been to have been killer, and this one did not disappoint. Aragon, I never read this book in middle school, but it was so popular when I was in middle school. I've been seeing Ellen Hildebrand everywhere, and I feel like I need to read something by her. I can't tell if this book looks super moody and cheesy or really good, but I'm intrigued. The Mortal Instruments, I was obsessed with this series in middle school. I don't think I ever finished it, but I definitely should. The Piano Teacher does not sound like something I would typically read, but I'm kind of intrigued by that. I have always wanted to watch Bridget Jones's Diary, the movie, but maybe I should read the book first. And then this place had some super cute Grandma Vibes furniture that I would 100% put in my apartment if I had room for it. And then they also had pretty good dishware, like these little painted cherries, I think. I really wanted to get this as a mini little plant stand and then they just had the cutest things in the front section and I'm pretty sure everything up here was five and under which is such a good deal like look at those candles I want them all and then the furniture at Target the home decor the fake plants I love it all I've recently become so obsessed with Target and every time I come here I leave with a home decor item we just got a Target and I got this little plant stand for $5. I've been looking for something like this for so long, so I'm so excited. I can't believe we got it for $5. I know. They yeah. have such good deals in Target. It's yes. like irresistible. Yeah, I always walk by the front section, but not anymore. Yeah. Oh no, never walk by. But I got this for $5. It's just this like towel and then I got this light. And it was $40, and I feel like that's such a good price for like a whole lamp, yeah. you know? And they have such like Pinterest-y, like I modern know, it's, stuff. Yeah, it's, it's like nice. very like on trend, you know what I mean? Yeah. I need to play around with where exactly I want to put this little stool, but basically I want to do something like this so I can create more levels with my plants. Oh, hello. I am tired. Shopping is tiring. Fun, but very tiring. And I'm also starving. I live with my boyfriend Danny and he's out of town right now. And he is the chef of this household. So when he's not here, I normally just make pasta and vegetables sometimes. And yeah, my plan for the rest of the day is to get some work done. I do not do social media full time. I actually do full time video editing on top of making YouTube videos. So I've got some videos I need to edit and I do YouTube video editing, which is really fun that part of my hobby YouTube I also get to do for my job. And then I'm also filming, swapping my screen time with my reading time right now. So I'm gonna do some filming today for that video. I have to read like four or five hours today which is a lot and it's already 3 p.m and then i have plans to play pickleball with some friends can i get all of this done in one day probably not but that is our schedule today anyway something i want to talk to you guys about while i munch is making new friends post-grad it's hard especially if you're like me and you work from home i don't have any co-workers so there's no like built-in way to make friends and this girl actually messaged me on Instagram and she lives in Austin and we met up and got coffee and she was super cool. And then she invited me to play pickleball with her friends, which is where I'm going tonight. So this will be my second time ever playing pickleball with them. And I, I'm a pretty social person. Like I love being around people. I love socializing, but I'm definitely introverted and quiet by nature, especially when I first meet people. And so it's kind of like, two contrasting things because I always want to be with people but it takes me a while to like warm up and get to know people and meeting new people also makes me really anxious especially meeting large groups of new people and so I am nervous to go play pickleball with this girl tonight but I'm also excited because I want to make friends with everyone I don't know why I'm sharing this other than to say that hopefully some people out there feel similarly and if you do you're not alone because I struggle to socialize while always wanting to socialize. 
if that makes sense. Everything you said, they already knew, more or less. Oh, well, here's something that you didn't know. Hello, you might be wondering what we're doing on the floor. And honestly, I'm wondering the same thing. I need to get some work done. And to be honest, I really hate working at a desk. And so I end up just working in random places, like the couch, the kitchen counter, outside, the floor. I don't know, I'll probably sit here, get uncomfortable in like 30 minutes and then go somewhere else. But for now, the floor is calling for me and we're not gonna question it because I don't have an explanation. So what I'm working on today is editing a YouTube video for Is Curly. She is so great. She's an influencer who lives in Austin. She's huge on Instagram, really into body positivity. She's also a mom and all around great person. So I edit all of her YouTube content, which is super exciting. We just recently started working together. And so yeah, I'm gonna edit one of her YouTube videos. Who's here? I hate when I'm home alone and somebody knocks and like, well, who's trying to talk to me? I don't want to answer the door, but also maybe it's a package. Am I expecting a package? Eee, I just got a package from Paxson. I wasn't sure it was gonna come today and now I'm really excited. I got this orange dress for going out to like bars or to any kind of like fancy dinner. And I really like the color. It is literally spring, but this is giving me like big fall vibes, minus the fact that it is spaghetti strap. And then I got this workout set, which I can actually wear to pickleball tonight if it looks good. I just love the color. And then I got this green skirt. It just seems like a plain green skirt from the front, but then on the side, it's got cutouts, which I feel like is really fun and like saucy in a subtle way. Okay, I'm really excited. I'm gonna go try everything on and show you guys. Okay, I like this skirt, just like the color and from the front, but the cutouts do not look that good. They just kind of like hang there and I feel like they're supposed to be more like circular. And then here is the fitness set. I really like the color. The color is so pretty. I did think the biker shorts were gonna be short, not the long ones. I feel like I'm a bigger fan of the shorter ones, but I did literally order these, so that is my own fault but yeah i think this is really cute and then here is the dress i think it is really cute it has an open back which is really cute and then i just tried it on the other way so this is the other way you could wear this top with no crisscross straps hello you can see my very messy apartment don't look at it but i'm about to go play pickleball and yeah i'm wearing my new pack sun outfit with this t-shirt that i stole from danny's closet and i'm bringing my seattle tote bag all right see you guys later Hello, hello, hello. I just got back from Pickleball. I forgot to take any videos there, my apologies. But it was really fun. I was so nervous to go because it was just like a big group of new people and then it turned out fine. Not just fine, really fun. So lesson learned that I need to not be so nervous about things because nine times out of 10, everyone is lovely and incredible whenever I meet somebody new. But I am tired from all that socializing and I really, really, really want to finish reading Verity. Like I'm actually obsessed, it's really bad, but great, you know? I have so many more hours of reading to complete my swapping my screen time with my reading time. Anyway, I'm gonna set up to do some more filming for that video and some more reading of Verity before I go to bed. And I finished it, it's so good. If you wanna hear all my thoughts, check out my swapping my screen time with my reading time video. Then I went to bed and thanks for coming on a day in my life with me. At the time that you're watching this video, I will be in Europe, which is crazy. So I might be a little bit MIA on YouTube for the next two weeks or so, but check out my Instagram because I'm gonna be posting 24 seven on there. You will be sick of me and sick of seeing so many Europe pictures, but yeah, come join me for my Europe trip.